OpenAI has launched two, count them, two major initiatives. And one of them sounds like they're gunning for LinkedIn. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the AI for everyone daily brief. I feel for people that are out there looking for a job. The system is so antiquated. We have resumes, just ridiculous. We have a process that is just not good. It's not efficient. And just nothing about it is humane. Now, I haven't looked for a job in a very long time, and I feel very blessed for that. Typically, I've either been an entrepreneur or people have approached me. But if I ever had to go on Indeed or LinkedIn to look for a job, I I, I think I would just be paralyzed by the anxiety behind that. Uh, but the good news is OpenAI has announced something that they're going to be launching in mid-2026, and that is an AI-powered jobs platform. And this platform is going to match AI-savvy job seekers with employers. So local businesses, governments, large firms, whatever that is, they are going to pair people who use AI that understand AI with jobs that need people who understand AI. Do you see a theme with everything that I've been talking about over the last two years here coming to fruition? This is very, very powerful. And AI, of course, is going to help create those placements. So if you have a body of work out here, it's going to help you in the near future. Now, alongside this platform, OpenAI is also going to be rolling out certifications. This is going to be very valuable as well. Even though other people do certifications, coming directly from one of the major LLMs is going to hold some extra Wait, and this is going to validate AI literacy, AI fluency, spanning some basic workplace AI to be a prompt engineer. Uh, so this is going to be really good. And they're going to integrate with ChatGPT study mode, which I did a video on, I'll put right here. And it's going to build upon OpenAI's current academy. It's not fantastic yet, but I have a feeling it's going to get really, really good as they keep pumping time and resources into that. But I still do recommend it. There's plenty of free trainings over there that can help you, especially if you're brand new. And the pilot is expected to launch for the certifications here late in 2025. Uh, OpenAI is also collaborating with partners like Walmart, John Deere, Boston Consulting Group. And uh, they're also, they are working with Indeed and organizations like that. So this is going to get very, very interesting. It sounds to me like they're absolutely gunning for LinkedIn because LinkedIn just, it's its dated. It's not moving forward. I don't see LinkedIn really being a valuable resource unless some things change over there. And this initiative, it aligns with broader national efforts because its they're going to certify. Their goal is to certify 10 million Americans in AI literacy by 2030. 10 million Americans, that's awesome. And this complements what the White House came out with with their objectives on elevating this workforce readiness. So hopefully we can also get states on board. I'm in Indiana. I'm in Indiana. Look, the states are always going to be a challenge. Governments are always going to be a challenge. There's always going to be politics and nonsense involved with that too. But here's the, here's the thing, folks, we ain't got time for that. So we might have to burn a few bridges and keep rolling because we got 18 to 24 months and the world is going to be a much different place. And we have to make sure that we have as, as many people as possible workforce ready. And I'm all for this. This is going to be a big part of helping make that happen. Why it matters. Well, this is truly a turning point because we're we're going to witness this shift in real time from this reactive workplace adoption into more of a proactive skills development strategy with what we're doing. So when you combine the certifications with the job marketplace, it just makes sense, especially when the AI itself can see how you perform, what your literacy level is. It can see what a company truly needs out of a person and algorithmically see if you are a fit. This is going to be a much better process than I've got to fill out a resume, send it in. You might read it. It's probably in the trash. 
I got to go through three or four interviews with a handful of people that don't even want to be there asking me stupid questions about nothing. And then all they're going to do is pick a candidate that they kind of like, they think will fill the role and just throw them in. So it's just an antiquated, terrible, horrible process. And it's a big reason why I'm an entrepreneur. I, I just, I, I've gone through that process a couple of times and at least my experience, it was very dehumanizing, very dehumanizing. And this will also help democratize, I believe, the opportunities for workers because it is going to be a skills first based way of hiring somebody. Now, I fully understand that there's going to be cultural issues, maybe within a workplace that always the smartest candidate might not always be the best fit. But again, I think if you start putting things like emotional intelligence assessments into the mix. Now you can have all the data that the person's qualified and an EQ assessment that states that they're a fit for the culture of your company. So I think that's two very important points right there. So I'm, I'm very excited about this, but OpenAI is coming for LinkedIn. They're going to become a direct competitor and uh, it's going to be exciting to see how it impacts you. Well, if you lead talent strategy or you work in HR or workforce development, you're going to have some new things at your disposal, some very valuable things at your disposal. You're soon going to get access to a pipeline of AI certified professionals, and you're going to have an understanding, some type of credential backing them that they know what they are doing. I believe this is going to reduce the hiring friction that I talked about. It's going to create the, a streamline process. It's going to get better candidates into those companies. It's going to just, it's going to be more humane. It's just going to be a better way altogether. Uh, embedding these certifications into your internal training is going to help future proof your company. We're all going to need that as we move forward. Things are moving so quickly and we do need to be watching out for these new recruitment standards as they happen, because AI fluency, AI literacy, mark my words here, listen to me, AI literacy is going to replace traditional credentials. Oh, and one more thing, come here, come here. OpenAI is not just building new tools, they are building career bridges. As I see it, by pairing AI training with hiring, OpenAI is completely rewriting the rule book on job readiness. So my question to you is, what is your company doing today or what can it do to stay ahead of this shift? Please leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And our time together today has come to an end. Well, if you found value in this video, please hit that subscribe button, like button, bell notification, all the good stuff. We need to get this information in the hands of as many people as we can because we do not want anyone getting left behind. I cannot say that enough. All right. Well, that's it for me. My name is Harrison Painter. This has been your AI for Everyone Daily Brief. And until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep up. God bless. Thanks for listening. I'm glad you stayed. One more spark for the plans you've made. If this show hit, go share the vibe.